Hey, 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 hey. Welcome in, Cakers. Today, we're going to talk about Timors. I'm a day late and a dollar short here. So far for the previous weeks, we've been getting one of these videos and chat sessions out pretty ASAP as the team war started, but life had me by the uh, face yesterday and I just didn't have as much time to get in here as I wanted to. Today we're going to talk about this for a few minutes. We're going to go into the voting screen and look at all the different cards we get to choose from. We'll scroll up and down this list and talk about them briefly, box by box, and the reason why we definitely should be picking certain cards over others. Okay, Kakers, the first box here you see Transmogrify versus Lightning Bolt. Both of them are very viable cards. Each one of them acts as a clear card. If leveled appropriately, Lightning Bolt will clear out L3 SOM uh, and obviously anything lower. Uh, if uh, leveled inappropriately, Transmogrify will do the same thing, especially if SOM or hey, that Douglas just to the right there has a shield on it because I'm pretty sure we're, we're going to be talking about nothing but shielded dugly, Duggies during this challenge. Guys, over there, that right box, you see Douglas, you see Kenny. Okay, if you've got a nice, decently leveled Kenny, L3 and higher, and your team can support legendary runners, stick that Kenny in there, go kill trouble cards. There's not really too many trouble cards in here. You'll see lower in the selections we've got a psalm down there maybe you want to send that inuit kini out of psalm i wouldn't advise picking inuit kini in that box at all the douglas is the card you want to go with there because dougie is definitely going to take that new kid level 11 bar right away from that opponent if you play that dougie correctly next box down we see rats versus gnomes I'm a give or take on this one. Most of my team members likely have a higher leveled rats than gnomes, but traditionally, if you've got that L4 or L5 gnomes at a two cost, they are going to out damage the rats on the field at L6 or lower. So I would consider gnomes over rats for energy if your team has higher leveled gnomes. If you're uh, lower leveled gnomes and you're higher leveled rats, Rats is still going to be a very formidable card there. It's going to get the job done. Each one of those rats chews pretty fast and takes down some uh, takes down some opponents quickly. Uh, you'll see there's a nice clear card there for fields, arrow storm or perhaps fireball. You know, give or take in this one, guys. I, I prefer arrow storm because it's going to be a field wide clear. And in my mind, I've already got a card ready for that uh, som. I've already got a card ready for that Dougie. So that Fireball, I don't know, at 5 cost for me is a little much. But hey, if you've got that L5 Fireball, you want to stick it in there, it's going to serve you well. Me, I choose Arrow Storm. Uh, next box down, Smuggler Ike versus Sally. Uh, hit or miss there again, guys. Ike is obviously the better choice with his charge. Um, he's going to uh, attack a little bit stronger if you're able to get that charge off once or twice. But uh, the reality is, Assassin versus Assassin, if you place them correctly, you're going to knock down the other Assassin and keep on a-truckin'. So either or there, guys. Sally or Ike. Uh, pick, pick your favorite. Um, you've got Captain Wendy versus the Amazingly Randy. Well, that Amazingly Randy definitely should be the go-to there. He's going to be throwing out extra cocks. He's got a nice range. That Windy is going to have great uh, triple strike range. After she gets her charge up, she'll be able to take down a few opponents here and there. Um, she's got a nice uh, attack boost herself, you know, as she gets higher leveled. But uh, every day, all day, you're going to pick the cock throw and Randy right there. Uh, next box we see here, Storyteller Jimmy versus Heidi. Uh, for efficiency, Heidi is the go-to card if you want to be energy efficient and you want to send out a two-drop sacrificial card that you can recycle back into your hand quickly and you know convert energy back quickly for. Heidi is the way to go there. Uh, in this setup, you'll see we've got gnomes, we've got rats, we've got chickens perhaps. So that uh, Storyteller Jimmy is definitely going to shut down critters with his aura. He's going to move slowly across the field if you want to set him down first just to explore what your opponent might do. He'd be a good option there. Um, again, this is for me a pick your poison. I'd prefer Heidi to be honest, but uh, it looks like my team wants to go Storyteller Jimmy. Over here we see Princess Kenny versus Paladin Butters. 
Both have a great death wish. Princess Kenny is going to stop you from uh, effective attacking for about five seconds, and Paladin Butters is going to shield you for several as well. That shield is going to come in useful for that card we talked about up top there, Douglas. And also that transmog is going to come in useful for any of those shielded duggies you see. That transmogrification is going to go through shields and it is going to take down trouble cards who are at your new kid trying to steal bars from you. I would recommend Paladin Butters to help you do that as well. Send out that Paladin Butters as soon as that SOM goes into fire strike animation to kill your butters you set down that Dougie at midline so he carries that shield all the way to the new kid takes the bar and survives the explosion tries to go back for some more that's what you're gonna be doing with that paladin butters here in the next box my cake family you see we have the slave versus the sheriff uh, most people in my team definitely have that sheriff leveled up uh, tons higher than the slave uh, though we've collected copies here and there there's very few of us that have a level four slave but in this position energy efficiency at level four uh, he's got a nice charge that's going to take down little tiny cards around him um, I, I choose sheriff cartman for this one um, the next box my cakers uh, we see cock house versus dog poo um I didn't really think I'd have to discuss this box with my team, like, even a little bit. Um, every day, all day, you pick Cockhouse over Dog Poo in a challenge like this. Dog Poo attacks very slowly. He is going to be nicely leveled, yes, with his epic level 4. You could match that with the Cockhouse. The Cockhouse is going to serve as such a huge distraction for anybody that needs it. It is going to serve as a, a, an energy staff that spits out a chicken every second or so. Um, you always pick Cockhouse in a challenge like this if there is no direct cancel card for it and there is no direct counter for it like a Robo, like a Robo Bebe, a Belf, or anybody else named Bebe. Since there's no Bebe on this list, you pick Cockhouse. That's, that's how you do it, my cakers. You want to get up to that NK and create distractions, that Cockhouse is a lifesaver, especially over that dog poo. Goodness. So the next box cake family, we got Som versus Hookhand Clyde. Everybody's picking Som. We're going to see a lot of people field-wide smashing and trying to crash everybody on the field with that give me power. We're going to see that uh, moon strike. We're going to see that Som throw out the elos. He's going to be everywhere, guys. If you pick Hookhand Clyde, God bless you. Good luck on your cake wars. I hope you have a card to defend that Som. Folks, the next and last box you see, Kyle of the Drow Elves versus the Adventure Twerk. I'm not sure. I, I would definitely pick Kyle of the Drow Elves here, and I would like to think that uh, we've picked Kyle of the Drow Elves here in my squad because Adventure Twerk is just not, not that great of a card considering the setup we have here. But uh, proud to see the Cake family picking up Kyle of the Drow Elves to give us some shields there. That shield is going to help us out with those weenies that make it up to the new kid, those rats that might make it up to the new kid, and of course that Dougie that makes it up to the new kid. Um, overall, Kakers, when I look at this setup, I see distraction with chickens and Som while I'm trying to get to your new kid with my shielded Dougie. And I see my opponents doing that to me as well. I believe the meta of this is who's going to get shielded Dougie to the new kid first and who's going to do it quicker and more frequently than the other player. That's what I see in here. Of course, you will have, again, SOM to create field-wide distractions to help you with one or two of your pushes to help you get up there to that new kid to wipe some of your opponent's cards off of the field. This is definitely going to be a SOM field crush combined with shielded Dougie stealing new kid bars. And in that situation, that's why we go back to this first box, Cake Family. That first box has the only card in here that you're going to be able to stop a shielded Dougie with. It's called Transmogrification. It goes through shields. You will be able to stop that Douglas and turn him into a little tiny rat that's going to chew on your new kid until that shield uh, expires. And that's going to be a lot more manageable than having a shielded Dougie come up there, whack your new kid, survive the explosion, and come back for more juice on the next bar. It's going to be way better to have that transmogrify 
than that lightning bolt. But real quickly, my cakers will go through this list one by one, and we'll talk about what I wanted to choose. Again, transmogrification, we need to stop shielded cards. I'm going to pick rats here because I know they're definitely going to be a stronger play for my team. Um, let's pick Sally because that's what the team's going with. But I like Ike. We'll pick Sally, though. Again, I like Heidi over Storyteller Jimmy, so we'll pick Heidi. Sheriff Cartman, you got the Psalm. Of course you're going to pick Douglas. I like that Arrow Storm, the Amazingly Randy, the Paladin Butters, the Cock House, and the Kyle of the Droe. So we're just going to go ahead and click these buttons in. We're going to let my team get those votes taken care of. Hopefully we come out strong with a cock house and hopefully we come out strong with a transmogrification that is all ready to take care of these trouble cards that are going to be in this deck to my cakers and everybody out there good luck with your team wars this week i hope you all do successful i hope you all get three wins i hope you all catch gold people out of them bonus packs we get at the end of the week to everybody else out there, get on board, play some Team Wars, get up in that uh, Play Store, download the F South Park Phone Destroyer, and let's do this, Cakers. Let's get up in there and smash some lockers, win some nectar. To everybody out there, if you enjoy, hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you want to come back, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell. We'll see you again soon on that flip side. Always remember, bring your towel. You keep smoking, my Cakers. Rusty Horsey on the flip side, always say it, peace, 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 peace.